and I'm Bucky Chicken, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet Part 14. In the last episode, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the last episode. Yeah, it was, where we took out Melda, or Milda? I'm gonna go with Melda, from um, Team Star. So, finally, we actually are making progress. Or so, a, a little, a little teeny tiny bit of progress on the goal. I don't know what I'm doing right now. So, I saw this giant crab. Oh, actually, I think I might have some clips. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry, we had to go through this first. Um, okay, so we already. Oh, no. Okay, so first off, um, I got a Zangoose, and I named him El Bigums, because it's kind of Spanish, at least the first part. I don't know. Um, and yes, yeah, so basically, I started using Francisco a bit more, since she's been kind of carrying from these parts. I think she got some giant. Okay, well, I didn't show it here, but. um, Yeah, her Aqua Jet. It's pretty powerful, and it was pretty cool. Also, oh, oh, this is a pink deerling. Apparently, deerlings have different looks depending on like the area they're in. Maybe I'm not sure how it works. I was trying to catch it. It didn't work very well, so that was unfortunate. Um, I also started using um, Wizbird a lot. I, f I forgot. I, I wish it gave it a better name. Um, yeah, I I really like its design. So I'll, you know, her design. So I was trying to use her a bit more. Um, I don't. I think she only evolves if you have like a special stone, which I don't have. And her defense isn't amazing, but I did do a little bit of grinding with her. Um, and they also put uh, Australia in the team, who's already at level 22, at least as, as, as of the time of this filming. Um, oh yeah, I also found the uh, adventure guide thing. I'm not sure why. I, I, I think I'm... Yeah. Um... But the main thing I learned from this, because I completely forgot about, we can just send out our Pokemon to battle. So I spent Wizbird in here. She got her butt kicked, as usual. Um, as you can see, uh, Australia. Australia was funny, because, like, it kind of, you know, they kind of sleep, like, half the moves. But when they do actually attack, then it's like, super powerful. So, and here we go. So Gilligan. Gilligan came in and just destroyed anything in his... In his path, it was it was it was crazy. Um, so yeah, so this is like a fairly quick way of, of earning XP. Um, now for people like Gilligan, last night I was just one shotting everything I came across, so that might be an easier way of earning XP because at least that way you're not losing any health. For this way, you kind of have to be doing this by like a Pokemon, um, like you know, like one of the health centers. Um, but just, just from there, I was you know lots of leveling up. So I sent out Australia. And, you know, they did a lot of drowsing, so, or yeah, he, he did a lot of drowsing, it was a little difficult, however, he has an 80 slam move, so when he decides to actually do this, oh, yeah, so, <laughs> half the time he'll just kind of be sitting there being funny, I, I love Australia, like, this, this Pokemon might, might be one of my favorite, like, it's not that great in combat, but it is just funny to use, so there we go, just one shot, hmm, <laughs> classic. Uh, I think I just said the same thing here. Like, I'm, considering I never really used him in battle, and I'm, I don't think like he doesn't have any evolution, so I probably won't be using him in battle that much more. Sadly, I figured I might as well just show a bit of the footage you got from me just destroying the competition using his mallet or whatever he uses this for. Just like I I, I don't know what the, what that even is, but he just slams it from the ground and it's awesome. But yeah, there was a bit you know there was a decent amount of leveling up, as you can see. Um, a lot of, like, half my team was asleep for a little while, so that was a little concerning. And he just rolls around. I don't, like, I don't even think he, he, I don't think he even attacks. I mean, he probably does, but he didn't attack for me, so he just kind of, <laughs> the two of us just spent a little while just rolling around. It was very, it was, it was very exciting, very, a very happy moment, <laughs> just watching him roll, roly poly. That was nice. Good times. Um... Okay, this is just me trying to figure out who I'm going to have in my team. Um, this is a giant crab I saw, which is, I believe, might be the same crab I found now. So you're going to be seeing me fight that in a second. Okay, and that's it. So, here we have the team. So, I'm basing these types off the types that are going to be working best for the um, Arvin's Titan Pokemon thing. I'm not sure what that crab is. That crab isn't associated with any of the quests so i'm gonna fight it i guess and just see what happens yeah like i might 
So let's just see. Um, and yeah, so Ramuel and Alkaline, I got both to level 20. Ramuel isn't that bad. Um, Alkaline... I like I, I like his design, but he is kind of useless. So I might swap. Like you, I'm I'm having him in last place for a reason. And I'll just, oh my gosh, everyone just faded out of existence. That was weird. Um. Hey, so can I not even fight him? He just left. Interesting. That might be what we're after. Maybe we're just gonna, we might just have to chase it to where. Oh, yeah, well, this is the... I think it's... Oh, yeah, this is it. This is this is actually it. Okay. Hello. See, you are the Titan. Okay, I... Oh, no. I think it's angry. Or maybe it's happy. I... Oh. I don't think that's a happy noise. Clarf, the Stony Cliff Titan. Oh, boy. So, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I, I can't adjust the camera angle. So sad. Super, oh. Wait, this doesn't recharge? Oh. This isn't very, okay, well, this is super effective. Are you kidding me? It's... Find the Stony Cliff Titan. It's right here. <laughs> I think I found it. I think it just pooped me out or something. Huh. What is going on? <laughs> okay, so is that like a fake out? The Titan Clarf began eating something. Uh oh. Arvin, what is going on here? Bucky, you found it! And that's that, then that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No Clarf guy has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after you're eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Bucky. Oh boy, okay, so we're gonna be fighting together. Um, my only concern right now is that Gilligan is running low on that waterfall move. I thought I had more. I thought like when I healed, they recharged that stuff. I don't know, but like this, the, his waterfall move was one-shotting anything we came across. Um, you know what? Let's terrorize a Gilligan. You know, let's just <laughs> let's just see. What he's gonna do? Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Or something, but yeah, let's... Okay, we never got to see what Gilligan's, um, Terra's last form looks like, so let's, 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 let's look. I guess I should have checked, because, like, sometimes it changes their type, so you do want to make sure he's still water, but, I mean, I would assume he's still gonna be water, and he's, like, some sea serpent, so, alright. Gilligan used waterfall. Oh no, this is gonna... This is going to be a little crazy, isn't it? Did did it just one shot? Oh my gosh. Oh my Oh my gosh. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I think I should have done this first. <laughs> you defeated the Titan Carve. Yay. It only took 2 hits. I'm not getting that much XP surprisingly. Okay. Huh. Well, we found a cave. All right, look at my little look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. No, I think it was my buddy. I'm pretty sure it's me. But those Titan Pokémon are yeesh. I don't like having something so tough out to get me. Really? Were we, were we fighting the same thing? I don't. I don't think we were. Okay, so I, I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica that Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. No, I'm pretty sure we. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure I did it. That waterfall. I. I. I if it's still alive, in some other kind of point. <laughs> Jeez. Watch your step. It's pretty dark. Oh boy. So, okay, so we're just in a cave now. It's neat. No way. Oh boy. The, 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 this sounds exciting. Oh. We got some herbs. We're gonna make some vegan Pokemon snacks. This is one of them. Herba Mystica. It's exactly how I looked like in the book. Cool. You and Arvin found the sweet herb Mystica. Miss, mi, mi, mi. It's probably just busy Mystica, probably. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Bucky. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says that the sweet herb Mystica is good for gut health, and it helps with a and helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches, too, when you want to stimulate the old appetite. 
Okay, well now if I can just go get, get him to eat some. <laughs> Alright, now is my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Let's get cooking, Bucky. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that awkward walking animation. Oh, wow. Okay, he's doing something there. Here you go. The Army of an original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made myself using a replica of the gym badges, see? Okay. Yay, Sony Cliff Titan defeated, Path of Legends. I... <laughs> Why am I giving that face? <laughs> I don't understand. Alright. Wait, I can't eat glute? Dude, you're gonna kill me! I'm gonna get, like, diabetes or cancer, or whatever it's, I'm supposed to be getting from eating it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get, like, r raging diarrhea. Alright, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of his ball on, it, on its own whenever it wants. Yeah, kinda happens sometimes. Hello? Sniff, sniff. Hey now, no. That's not for you. That's so sad. Do you want to give your sandwich? Yes. Here you go. You can have it. Because I, can, I can't eat it. So, there you go. Hey, I went through all the trouble making that for you, and you just give it away? <laughs> I hope you realize that's all there was. So now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Oh, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. <laughs> He's so sad. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better savor every last bite. Oh, no. You you already ate the whole thing? Oh, my goodness. It's going crazy. Okay, so we, it can dash now. Nice. I can actually move around. Well, hey, is it just me or has, has this thing sort of powered up somehow? Wow. The vegan treats really are be helping. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. Someone's car horn is going nuts out there. Great. If they if they had that big an effect on you on your Pokemon, then I bet. <gasps> oh, I bet it'll come in super handy for a treasure hunt assignment we've got. Oh, so you're the villain. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Yep, that's what I bet. <laughs> well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Okay, nice walking animation. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave it all to me, though I could be, well, be much obliged if you get a start in searching out the remaining four. Hurry about Mystica. For Mystica, for Mystica. Oh my gosh. Let's dash now. Bye, Arvin. Have fun in this suspicious cave. I really owe you. Okay, the coast is clear. He's gonna pray without me? Yep, you can come out now. So, like, I can't tell if this is good story writing, where, like, he's gonna be implied to be a villain, and then showed, like, oh, he's, he's you know, he's keeping a secret, but, like, not to hurt us. Or... It's bad story writing, and he's just going to be a villain from the very beginning, and he's going to be a villain for the entire time, and it's going to be like, oh, wow, big surprise. Oh, who's calling me? Oh, it's probably going to be the trainer. Here we go. Toro! Hello, Bucky, this is Toro. We haven't spoken in half the series. <laughs> you remember me, don't you? I think that that means... Um, you know what? This is going to be triggering so many people, so let's just... Let's look and see how I'm supposed to be pronouncing this. I'm pronouncing it the Spanish way. Because, like, you know, that, that's how you pronounce the, the, the vowels. Um, okay, yeah. Pronunciation. Apparently it's Miraidon. Or, like, Miraidon. But, yeah, it's supposed to be Raidon. Miraidon is not how you pronounce it. <laughs> mm. Classic Bucktoo chicken. So, I guess we're going to be going with Marat. Maridon. Maridon has regained some of his original power. It seems to now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Uh, and I can have Maridon Mar dash ahead by pressing the left stick. But watch out for three trees when dashing at high speeds. If you check out a tree while dashing, put one lurking up ahead, among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I've been continuing to explore Paldea with Maridon, as you have done here. Your route is not be fixed, but upon open before you. Seek your route. Yes, this is episode 14. I am well aware. Using your map and the tools you have in hand. Whenever you find some, find your curiosity piqued, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way. 
great or small. Okay, go forth on your journey and take good care of Maridon for me. Okay, bye bye. So let's test this out. Okay, so you just press the left stick. Alright, so here we go. So now we're going much faster. Um, have I been here? Like, this place is so big, it's hard to even tell anymore. Whoa, okay, so it does... It's kind of hard to tell, but it kind of seems like I'm getting a bit of a jump boost when I do this. We got Calcium? Oh my gosh, that's, that's like my top 30 elements. Whoa. Okay, so if we just do a little, a little a wee little dash here. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, so there are a lot of trainers in the area who I didn't... Oh, hello. It's all about balance. Okay, hello. I guess I can fight you. I, I love how I didn't take a single inch of damage from that whole Terry battle. I got Pokemon in a much different place so we can do well at balance battle. Okay, hello. You joined by Claire the Student. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I barely did any trainers in Terry because I was... I, I kept getting so distracted that I just missed all of them. I also like how I put a whole team... Like, I, I spent so long trying to, like, train a team for this ter like, for this Titan battle, and yet... It didn't matter. <laughs> like, um, okay, I'll, I'll do this. Also, my waterfalls regenerated, which is odd. Okay, but no, no more Hobbit. Very sad. Um, a little bit of XP. A uh, sound it? I don't know. Okay, well, no one's very good here. Um,. Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot Gilligan is crunched now as well. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we're just gonna keep out. We're, you know, we're just gonna. We're just gonna keep Gilligan because Gilligan has two eighty attack moves, and this is just getting a little silly. All right. Um. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, let's just let's do waterfall. It's an eighty against a seventeen. Or yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. And I might as well just keep Gilgan out for this um, next one. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna keep who I have. All right, Barboach. I never even heard of these names before. Like, the problem is that oh, this is water. So if I do Crunch, like water against water might not be too. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that was easy. But yeah, like the problem is like I'm not really learning what the Pokemon's names are because I'm just learning what I'm naming them. <laughs> So I'm not gonna be, so that weasel thing. I'm gonna be call, like instead of a weasel, I'm just gonna be calling it Francisco for now on, pretty much. Oh, now I'm off balance. Oh, wow, she's loaded. All right. Um, so there is a there is a Terry battle over here, which we could get. Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've even been in this little area. What is this? Hello. Um. Level 12? That's not that good. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm switching Pokemon. Let's do, um... Uh, that's 60. Another 60. Who's, who's the worst here? Okay, well, I'm going to bring in Robbie. Robbie is not the worst here. However, she does have a 35 move, which... Might be the only thing we can really do at this point to lower the health of a level 12 at this point. Confuse Ray. Oh, this might not be... Okay, well, the... Confuse is, like, one of the worst things to have happen to you. Um, Peck is... Okay, Peck is the weak one. Okay, Robbie's confused. Don't hit yourself. Great. This is probably gonna. Oh, it. This is. This isn't. Wait, did that do any damage to me? I don't know if it did. <laughs> I don't think it. Did. Okay, Robbie's out of his confusion. Heck. Okay. If I do that one more time, hopefully. I mean, I think it's like a 50% chance. Ooh, okay. It's level 12. So then he moves a tar okay, so I'm I should be able to get away with just using a regular Pokeball here. It's level twelve, it's in the orange. There we go. Nice. 
Bronzor? I, I don't even know what this thing even is. <laughs> like some wheel or something? Alright. Got something out of it. So it's a bronze Pokemon. It's a circle, basically. Cool. We got Bronze Boy. <laughs> Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm like never going to use... Like, as if this guy never evolves, then I'm... Well, he is a steel. Oh, oh, okay, so I think he's also the star revolution of... um. That one. Okay, Gilgan, I feel safe with. But yeah, he seems to be the start of evolution of one of the ones I've already seen. So I guess I'll use him for that part. I still don't know how I'm supposed to be getting this guy. I don't know. If, I, mean, I, 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 don't, I don't feel like they would have him in the game if you couldn't catch him, right? Like, there must be some sneaky way you can do it. Because, like, they're not that common either. Nest ball. All right. Interesting. Um, challenge alone is look. It is level two, but you know, Gilligan's waterfall. I'm like Gil Gilligan's waterfall can do anything. I just extremely overpowered. So, generally, in like three moves is enough to take these terrorize out. Hopefully, it loads. All right. Oh boy. I don't think I have whoever this is. The sil the silhouette doesn't remind me of anyone. Um. I don't even know if I have this one or not. <laughs> I can't even tell. Who is this? I don't recognize that name. I'm gonna say I don't have that. Okay, so it's doing things. Now let's just try Waterfall and see how this goes. I mean, I, I have 280 moves. We can see whether. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much because like I'm I'm basically guaranteed to win this. I I, I feel three stars might be a bit of an issue, but. For now, at least, I think we're fine. Okay, let's 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 go all out, and hopefully the rest of them decide to attacks as well. Oh, there! We, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, I guess I can just use. Okay, well, our defense fell. Let's just do another work, go on out. It doesn't matter at this point. I just don't feel like doing much, so I'll just make everyone else do things for me. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's, okay. That was easy. Nice. I have never seen this thing in my life. I mean, I might as well catch it, but... I still have no idea what this thing is. Yeah, at least like, it's, this is also like, like, a guaranteed catch. Which is nice. Because sometimes it's fairly difficult to catch them, especially like you know later in areas where they're level 20s or like level 15 or above. I guess, I guess if anything, the lower levels are harder because you have to find moves that aren't way too powerful to just one-shot them. All right, it was caught. Yeah, and it got some XP candy. Nice. Like the problem is now that Gilligan's all leveled up, I'm not really sure who to use the candy on. You know, I'm. It's always going to be helpful, but I don't. I don't have like that one target who I need to get leveled up, or anyone who's like remotely close to level. Oh. I think Robbie and Webster both have like five or so levels until they get there. All right, you. I don't even. Psych. Oh my gosh. I. <laughs> Whatever. A groblet. I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, so send you to the boxes. Now. Okay, so that's done with. I guess at this point. What we'll probably do is try to head out for the gym. Um, I. I think I'm like I remember trying to scout out and see like what exactly I would need for this next gym. I'm I think five. Yeah, I'm gonna have to relearn all. Okay, no, there's another Terrorator battle up here, so I, I might as well just. I mean, I can always just check out and see what the Pokemon is before doing it. Well, actually, look, have I ever fought you? Oh yeah, you're, you 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 were that kid I fought like a while back ago. Um. All right, so this who. If I recognize, ooh, I don't think I have this. Yeah, I don't. The, again, yeah, this the silhouette doesn't um remind anyone, so I'll I'll do this again. You know, as usual. I mean, if I ever already have um one of the Pokemon, I might do it off camera, just because these battles are fairly repetitive and fairly easy. Uh, and I've already shown quite a few, so I might as well just show the ones that I actually need to do and spare you guys from other ones, but. I do get XP candies out of it, which I feel is probably the easiest way of acquiring those. 
All right. Hmm. There's a lot of fire types here, it seems. Oh, this might... Yeah, I don't even know what... Salend it? Hopefully that's a base... This this, this looks like an evolved version of something. Um, not very effective. Okay, Crunch is gonna be... <laughs> this might just... Eh. Not as much as I was expecting, but still a decent amount of health. Oh, wow. You did five damage to me. So sad. Alright, let's do the cheer. I don't think the CPUs have ever cheered. I don't know if it's like against their CPU laws. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, we have you. I do want to look at this thing and just make sure... Okay, I, I, I think that this is a base form, so I, I will catch you. Like, I was worried that this, to me, this, this kind of looked like a like an Evolution 2 Pokemon, so if that's the case, then I want to get the base form of it, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to catch it or not, but yeah. We'll, we'll catch him. Um, it also does seem that apparently only females can evolve, so this better be a lady. Because if not, then we're screwed. <laughs> so there we go, we got you. A guaranteed catch, which is nice. And then... Now I gotta like, find some name. Some good XP candy as well. Bit of a weird looking creature, but... I like its eyes, I guess. Looks slimy though, so maybe not. Soundster. I don't know. I <laughs> I'm never gonna be using this thing. So th there we go. I think it's also like level 33. You have to evolve it until it, you know, or we, um, you have to level it up to until it actually evolves. So yeah, we might be using that thing for a while. Oh, well, actually. I mean, if it's, a, if it's an Atari, the, the, the thing probably already has a decently high level. So let's just check the boxes and see, like, what's... Oh, level 20, alright, so that's a, a decent head start. Okay, so I would, so basically the first gym type, yeah, the first gym type is Bug. Which means that Fire and Fighting are going to be pretty good bets for me. Um, okay, what else is, yeah, Fighting, Flying, so any Birds. Actually, I have a few, I think Gilligan might also be Flying, or maybe... He does fly, technically. Um, basically, fire, fighting, and flying are my, are my main bets here. Uh, Ramuel is my own, really my only usable fighting one, so he can still stay in the team, I think, for now, but he probably... He's probably going to be last. Um, I do want to check out Soundster, because I know I said I was never going to use him. Someone decides, isn't it? Is that a tree? I mentioned this in some other video episode, but yeah, I, like a, a tree, like the tree next to my house collapsed yesterday. Oh no, it was not. It was not yesterday. It was like it was a, it was it was like a week ago, no, a, a little less than a week ago, and it was like a foot away from where I was sitting in my room. And um, it wasn't scary, but it, I mean, I could have died. So yeah, there, there there you go. Um, okay, so Soundster is actually pretty good. So. Once again, I wish I gave him a better name, because he might actually be a main character. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll use you too. So it seems like he can pretty much one-shot. Um, some good, some, some, some stuff. So if I use it, yeah, Incinerate seems to be a pretty good... Okay. It's a pretty good move. Um, hmm. So now I have to decide who I want to have in my team. Because, like... Okay, so I swapped out Webster. So, t so Tony as well is one who I want to test out. I think because Tony... Here we go. Tony's another fire type. And, um... Yes, basically, apparently what you can do with Tony is give him a, um, like a some fire crystal and it evolve him into a Growlithe. Or, well, I think Growlithe might just be his... Like, I think he might be a Growlithe right now, but... His evolved form, you can only you can, you can only do with um, a crystal, which I have. So I would like to kind of use him a little bit, you know, when he's when he's a you know, when he's a cute baby. But I think he's also one of the few Pokemon that look pretty much the same. <laughs> like after evolving, just are kind of bigger. Okay, this, this this rock acorn thing is a little hard to fight. I've I've had to mention like sometimes it'll one shot, other times it's not very easy. He has a dark move, which is also interesting. I think dark might be... Is dark one of the ones? No, okay, dark isn't... Dark... Oh, dark... 
is weak to bug. So I might not want to use Bite in this um, gym. Grass Psychic and that are bad against bug, which I think... I, th I, I had a Grass type. Um, a lot of the ones I used early on were normal. Like, it's been a little while since Lucky has been in the spotlight. Like, Lucky and Thundernuts and and Randy have kind of been sidelined, but... As I say, you know, they'll, they'll come back. And I like having a cast of, like, 20 characters, maybe, instead of, like, 6. Kind of gives us more time in the spotlight. Um, Alright, yeah, Tony isn't amazing, but I might as well just give him his, give him his little snack, you know you could say. Um, it's somewhere here. Is it this? Well, it, medicine, Pokeballs, battle items, berries. I think it's in here somewhere. Firestone. So if I give this, then he's going to evolve. Tony is going to, well, Tony's evolving. He's, he's going to go big. So then with this new evolved form, he could, well, I'm not really sure if evolving is just like, whoa, he, oh my gosh. Okay. I don't remember that beard, but Tony grew up completely. So I could use the XP candies and give to him. Tony wants to learn extreme speed. Sure, that sounds fun. Um, okay, 80. Nice. Um, user assist by an, user assist an ally by boosting the power of that ally's attack. I don't need... Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Alright, so with this, that's an, that's an 80 move, which is pretty good. Um, I might give him... Well, I don't really want to give XP candies to someone who can't evolve. I could give them to Robbie though. I mean, Robbie's level 29. She needs to get to level 35, I think, when she can evolve. Um, okay, I know what. Okay, I know Ramuel's fighting. I want to get Webster back on the team though. And so now that we have Tony, that basically means that half of our team, at, at least half of our team, is strong against bugs. So I'm going to swap Ramuel. Out with Webster again. I could. <laughs> Wensley. I, I love that I named him Wensley Dale. Uh, classic man. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just look at evolutions. Like, I think. I think Lucky can evolve. I'm not even sure what he. Yeah, can he evolve? Okay, so. um, Squavits? Okay, well, first off, what surprised me is that Squavit debuted in Sword and Shield. Like, I don't know, I just, like, I see things, and I, I, I kind of expect them to be a little older, but yeah, he's actually on Sword and Shield, which, so that's, that's kind of cool, like, that mess actually had some good Pokemon in it. Um, okay, so I'm probably, like, so, so Lucky's been on our team for a little while. I, I could give him the XP candies and have him evolve. But to be fair, two levels, or three levels isn't that much. So, come to think of it, I might just hold off. Squizzums might evolve, though. Hmm. Okay, I need 10 more levels for Squizzums, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I like Presley, but he can't evolve. Wensleydale will evolve, but I don't think it'll be too, for too long. I think Tangolio's at max. Tangolio doesn't listen to a thing I say, so we're, we're, th there is some drama there. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys all next time, and next time we're going to be, I guess, headed towards... um. The first gym so i'll see you then toodles